everybody, it's me, Goji Matzil in 1994, and I am here bringing you guys a, a bit of a video series that hasn't been on this channel lately, so I thought, get out of here! It's not your turn, Godzilla. You already had your turn a bunch of times. So this series, the Cats in Underpants book series, is where I get out of here, Red. Anyways, jokes aside, Cats in Underpants is a book series again that I really like, but I finally had the guts to do book eight. You might be wondering what took me so long. Well, it's because I kept messing up a bunch of times and I decided to eventually give up, give it up. But seeing as it's the new year and everyone, and I'm noticing that the Captain Underpants book series has, Captain Underpants videos by me have been doing the best in terms of views and ratings, I thought why not throw another one in for the Captain Underpants fans on my channel. Also, for anyone who used to watch my other Captain Underpants books reviews, not the movie review or the movie reactions, but just the books, I pretty much reviewed them by telling you guys the entire story and then telling you guys my ratings. This time, however, I'm going to change it up a bit. Instead of telling you guys the entire story, I'm going to tell you guys a little plot synopsis, a little, little taste, like as if you're getting served part of the dish, kind of like a sample. You're not getting served the entire dish. Which the entire dish in this case is the entire story. I'm going to give you a little plot synopsis, which is just a little taste of it. And before you call me a food critic, I'm not a food critic. I like eating food, as we all do, almost. But I'm pretty sure if there's a food critic watching this, this is not about food. Anyways, a little plot synopsis. George and Harold are just going with their mishaps, and then they go time travel with the potty, the purple potty, to go back, sorry, to an alternate dimension where everyone's their opposite, and they meet their alter egos. Okay. So, yeah, they go back in, they try to go back in time, but instead they just end up in their alternate, in an alternate alternate dimension, and they meet their alter egos, Evil George and Evil Harold, with Captain Bull Underpants. So, when those, when those three go to their dimension, the regular dimension, it's up to Captain Underpants, George and Harold to, to fight off Captain Bull Underpants, Evil George and Evil Harold, with some extra superheroes, and even a giant hamster-sized with the Godzilla-sized hamster on the way. So that's pretty much the plot synopsis of this book. Now, here's some things I like about it and dislike about it. First thing, the cover. It looks spectacular. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite Captain Underpants book covers. I mean, you have the title here, a bunch of action with like lightning bolts, we got steam here, we got... Evil George and Evil Harold in the Time Machine with crackers. Uh, George and Harold. Uh, Sulu as like a giant Godzilla sized hamster monster. Captain Blunderpants. And I forget what those two are called. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. Sorry. I, I, I love Captain Underpants, but I don't know everything about it. So we got like a bunch of smoke on the back here. Just got a bunch of things. And that's pretty much it. What I yeah, that's what I like about it. The I like it the story, the complex story. I always like complex stories, but I don't want to make them too too complex. Also, another thing that I like about this is the flipperamas. The flipperamas again is a very nice way to Okay, it's it's an easy way to do animations with it. Okay, that shows up very terrible on my camera. Not because of its quality, but just because of the camera angle. What I dislike about it, I honestly don't... I, I honestly have no dislikes with this book. It's perfectly, perfectly fine in its way. 
So, yeah, Captain Underpants and the prepo- preposterous plight of the Purple Potty people. Evil Horn Laughs. By, by, distributed by Scholastic. Now, also, by the way, Fidget Spinner. Anyways, that's all I have to say about this book. I mean, if you guys want to have know more about this book, go uh, buy it, or if you have the book itself, go read it and see what you think. So, my rating for the book, uh, 9.5 out of 10, but I, it's not, it's not something I dislike about it, but the point five that was taken away was that I feel like there could have been a little bit more, I, I, I want to say, like, action, but it, this thing has so much action in it. <sighs> I just don't know. There's something I feel like there was some. There could be something that was added, you know. But anyways, that's Captain Underpants and the Preposterous Play of the Purple Potty People. If you guys enjoyed this little video, if you, then give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.